Hi, Karen from Karen Co. Creative here. If you're new to me in the channel, we do both done for you and DIY websites and all manner of online business systems, including email marketing. And today I have a quick tutorial about ConvertKit to show you about sort of your main audience list, your segments and your tags, and to especially share why I think tags are really important to use. So I'll take you over my shoulder and this account. So I'll show you the audience. This is a client account. So when I click in here, I will blur out the emails that will be in here. Um, so the emails we blurred out down below, but you can see we have all the subscribers and then we have segments, which are sort of subsections of your main list. And then we have tags that also sort of act as subsections of your main list. They might be just even more specific. So you add tags for the most part, you can manually add tag to a client or a um, subscriber, but I typically do it in the automations. So if you come to visual automations, Basically, whenever they sign up for something, I like there to be a corresponding tag. So here, people can get her lead magnet a few different ways. When they sign up via any of these forms, they get the herb guide. Um, well, I get the herb, so this is the email series for with the lead magnet, but the, this is the herb guide tag, excuse me. So I like there to be a tag because this makes a really easy way for you whenever you look at a subscriber to see what they've signed up for. So you can see if they have um, sign up for multiple lead magnets. You can see all of them in there. You can have tags correspond with products. So if they've purchased something, if they signed up for a group, um, you can all use tags for each of those things. And this becomes useful when you go to send a broadcast. So you can't really send a broadcast to a segment. You can send it to your tag though. So if we go to continue, you would design out your email. And then here you want to add a filter, all subscribers subscribed to, you can do it form. So that would be similar to, you know, the herb guide form, but in that lead magnet case, you saw there's a few different ways to get the lead magnet, in which case it's better to use the tag. If you want to send it to all of the herb guide people, you can also send it, for instance, if you had an 11 person mastermind, you could use the tag to do that. You could also do the product, but tags are sort of the universal thing that you can use with both products and sort of your segments you can use the tags to build broader segments as well so basically all of these things make the tag a really useful thing for tracking your customers and that makes it more like a customer relation management system it's a good way to sort of utilize convert kit to do a bit more than just send emails um and it really just helps you be able to identify who's done what and therefore who might be interested in the next thing and that's how you would utilize your tags. All right, it's a little bit jumbly there, sorry guys, but um, hopefully you see how to add your tags and how to email people based on the tag from this video. All right.